Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me today on Friday. Hallelujah. Friday, April the 29th, 2022. That's about 4.12 p.m. Thank you so much for joining me as we continue to do these daily devotionals together, getting in the Word of God together, growing together. Uh, that's what it's all about, folks, getting in this Word. Uh, today's devotional is titled, Make Way. Make Way. And our study scriptures Isaiah chapter 40 verses 3 through 5. That's three whole verses you got to read today. There's a couple more it looks like throughout this. I promise you it's not going to take up any of your precious time, folks. I promise you that. Um, our lead off verse is Isaiah chapter 40 verse 3 alone. And the word of God says, A voice of one calling, In the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. That's Isaiah 43 again. And our devotional today is written by Joe Stow. And he goes on to write, General Dwight Eisenhower was known for his courageous leadership during World War II. That he was. His battle-tested skill equipped the troops to reclaim Europe. In 1952, he was elected president. While in Europe... Eisenhower had experienced the danger and difficulty of navigating the twisting roads. As president, for the sake of U.S. national security, he commissioned the construction of what is, of what is now the nation's interstate highway system. I did not know that. A little bit of history trivia there. Let's see how this is getting tied in with scripture, folks. Uh, in ancient times, Conquering kings gained access to newly acquired territories through highways built for their troops. Isaiah had this in mind when he declared, Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. That's Isaiah 43 again. And John the Baptist called people to repentance to prepare the way. That's Mark chapter 1 verse 3. To prepare the way into their hearts. For the arrival of King Jesus. What preparation needs to be done to allow Jesus unhindered access to your own heart? I will repeat that question. What preparation needs to be done to allow Jesus unhindered access to your own heart? Are there rough places of bitterness, oh my, that need a bulldozer of forgiveness? Are there valleys of complaining that need to be filled with contentment? Let's prepare the way for the king. Hallelujah. Hoo-wee. That's a beautiful one, my folks. Um, yeah, and this kind of this ties in with last night's Bible study that we did. I have some notes over here. You know, I wish I could find them. I wish I was prepared in advance, but I told you guys before, I'm not going to read these and study and, and, and meditate and do all that. I'm going to read it right off the bat, straight to the camera. And to see what the Lord puts on me. But we go down here and you know, the author is asking us what preparation does need. And I'm asking you and that's what we need to ask ourselves. What do I need to do to this heart to, to prepare it, to make it easier for Jesus to come into my heart? And it's my prayer that everybody watching these has already received Jesus into their heart. But he's still he's still working in us and through us. And sometimes like uh, like Dwight D. Eisenhower, you know, when President Eisenhower, how, how, when President Eisenhower was over in Europe, those roads were twisty and turning, you know, is making, making it hard and difficult for him to navigate where he needed to be. And there's some things like this author saying that's in our life, what's in our heart, that's making it hard for Jesus to navigate through us. And there's so much scripture. Um, Hebrews 4, 12, you know, it talks about the word of God is sharper than a two edged sword pierces through bone and marrow, spirit and soul. But it also says it judges the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And we're going to stick with that one. That one, I believe. I'm going to add that to our study scriptures today, guys. Meditate on that. You know, the word of God, the word of God in your heart is what will pave a straight way for Jesus to work in you and through you. I think I've said it a time or two in the past. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. I need to quit doing that because I just got done reading here. Um, are there rough places of bitterness that need a bulldozer of forgiveness? Yes. I do need a bulldozer in my heart because I get frustrated and I get angry when people don't get in the Word of God enough. 
They want to complain about this and that, how terrible the word is, the world is, but they don't want to crack open the answers, the the word of God. I mean, from our Father, our Creator, the one who's given us eternity, the one who sent His Son to die for us. We don't want to open that book up. We just want to whine and complain, and that's where my frustration lies. So yes, I do need a bulldozer of forgiveness to and just understand that I can't control anybody else's choice. But Hebrews four twelve it says the word of God. It judges the intentions of the heart. So, again, if your heart is filled up with the Word of God, I'm pretty sure Jesus is going to have a nice, smooth sailing road, just like President Eisenhower came back here and he uh, commissioned the construction of the National Interstate Highway System. So think about that. You know, uh, you yourself, you yourself is a picture yourself as Eisenhower, and the highway system is the Word of God, and we need to get that into our heart. So, guys, this is just a good one. Pray on it, meditate on it, let the Lord speak to you. He may be speaking to you the same way as he is to me right now. Um, I don't know. He's, he speaks to each one, every one of us differently. But um, some good study scriptures here today. Another, for me, it's another good visual. You know, picture Eisenhower over in Europe, you know, just getting frustrated on these windy roads. And maybe Jesus is getting frustrated with some of us with the, 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 uh, the rough places that need bulldoze and ba the valleys of complaining um, that need filled with contentment. Uh, yeah, I complain. I do some complaining myself. I'll, I'll admit it. I'll confess it. But um, that's just something we got to work on, guys. We just got to continue to grow, continue to be, I'll throw that word out there for you again, brother, compassionate, be forgiving, and be content. And I believe the more you get the word of God in you, the more those things will just, you know, they'll just, uh, they'll just, manifest that is a manifest god will work through you and in you and all that all that good stuff he changes you from the inside out so prepare the way for the king get them bulldozers out get you some tar trucks get alone with god meditate ask him to search your heart and reveal to you what areas of the highways need worked on in your life so guys this is a good one i love it it's a it's a picture i'm not gonna be able to get out of my head for for quite a while but uh, just thank you again so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I love you all. Goodbye.